Okie dokie, part two. I was making a huge mess at the end of that one. Now, this one is the soap that she gave um, all of us to try. And mine was in a cupcake form and then a lollipop form. So, um, let me show you. This is what the lollipop form turned out to look like. Now, as you can see, it's not the creamiest of all soaps. Um, it held together pretty well because I thought maybe it would, um, you know, the little circles would fall apart. It is bendable, so it's not really, really hard. It's not that moisturizing, though. It's more like um, I would use it as a hand soap. It's a great hand soap and a novelty hand soap, you know. It smells amazing. It's just not what I would want on my my whole body just because it wasn't that moisturizing. Dawn, don't get mad at me for saying that. But that's what I think about that. But I've had other novelty soaps that are, you know, pretty like that, um, that were horrible and they fell apart. So this is actually a very good novelty shaped, you know, soap. Um, it's just not the most moisturizing soap. Now, here is the little piece that I have of this cupcake one. Um, and these are Melt and Pour. Um, she doesn't do cold process. And I don't know if Melt and Pour means that they're not as creamy as cold process or what the difference is or not. But this son of a gun is creamy. And um, it lasts. It doesn't melt a lot. And um, see, as you can see, I'm almost done. Babe. It's... Um, it's soft and bendable and let me show you because a lot of people I know wonder how to use these cupcake soaps so I looked it up Ta -da! and I found out how you use them because I'm like what's the best way to use a, one of these cupcake soaps see see how gorgeous it is look at that it's beautiful she did a beautiful job just give me a minute I'm almost done honey you don't anyway the door um the door though makes noise anyway um my husband keeps coming in and out bringing me dinner is he not the sweetest and i'm griping <sighs> horrible because i can come in there i don't i i'm gonna go in there and eat but he brings it here because he thinks i'm staying in here for a long time anyway sweetie sweetie pie this right here is so soft and see look at that oh it's gorgeous so, anyway, what the video said was to cut it, slice it in pieces, so that's what I did. And what you're, what I showed you a while ago is just like a little piece of one of the pieces that I used. Obviously, the creamy part goes first, and it breaks apart in there in the bathtub. It doesn't stay on there. But when it comes off, you just use it, and it is so moisturizing, and I just used it all over my body. It was wonderful. And, um... Then this part right here is super creamy. Um, it's fantastic. The soap lathers. It the scent lingers. I'm definitely going to be ordering more. I mean, look at it. It was easy as pie to cut through and cut off. You know, pieces like this. Um, I'm trying to get that off without it breaking. Ah, I broke it. Um, darn it. It's sticking because it's so soft and it's kind of warm. I made a mess. I've had it this whole time, not made one mess, and I tried to make a video and I'm ruining everything. This is so creamy. You just you can use it on your loofah, you can use it on a rack, or but I think your best use is just to use it and rub it all over your arms and legs and body. It just is so creamy, and it do, it doesn't make a mess at all. Cause you know I kind of thought. Um, how do you use a cupcake as a soap? That's how. And this is a good body soap. Dawn, it is a home run. It's the way to go. I don't know what the difference is in cold process or melt and pour, but, I mean, you don't have to do anything different um, with that kind of stuff. Those are good soaps. I also, you know, showed y'all in a haul video that I got some of her soaps and, um, in like those pie slices and they're really creamy too so I mean that's really good you guys you need to order it if you have been ordering soap from other people 
and haven't been too pleased with it, order this. I'm putting my name out there, and I know lots of people trash me anyway, but <laughs> this soap is good. So, Dawn, you got a winner there, too. And it, even the other one that I wouldn't use on my body so much anymore because it, it this is a great one for a hand soap. Plus, I think if you use it as a hand soap, it the pretty um, swirly heart shape is going to last a lot longer, too. Um, now, I wanted to get into this before the video is over because I am in love with this. I First, when we did, um, as you can see, there's, say, Body Butter, Serendipity, this one has a lot of oil. I, um, what happened was, when she did her round robin that I was part of, she gave all of us um, a body butter sample. And I use mine every day, and I still have this much left. This one is hard, not hard, it's, it's thick. See? And what you have to do is, like, take your fingernail and just kind of scrape it off like that. And um, let me see if I can hold this up and do this um I have no idea what I'm doing where is my hand see look at that it see how it melts on your skin instantly that's her body butter now I'm going to take two seconds really quick and rub it in and it will look so shiny and beautiful on your skin and it does not leave a film but it looks gorgeous it looks like it may have left a film look at this do you see how shiny it is gorgeous love that one I was in love with that one but then in one of my little RTS orders she sent me her new formula and this one has tea tree which I use tea tree every day now this is all I have left of this one. Hello. <laughs> That's it. Can you say Aaron likes it? Um, again, this one's really, really thin and super oily. But let me show you something. I don't know where. Um, I got a burn last night. I don't know if I can show you. Right there. Yeah. See that little hole right there? That would have been a huge blister. But what I did was look at that just from being on my skin, how that's melting. That's how awesome her body butter is. Look at this. I put this, it's got tea tree, which is an antiseptic. It has straight cocoa butter in it. Um, anyway, I put that on my burn, and it does still have a little hole there. But it didn't make a huge nasty blister or anything. And that is all because of her. Um, and see, look right here. I got a kitty cat scratch earlier today. Instead of getting all red, I just put my Scented Princess body butter on it. And it has tea tree. It's not a... It's not an overly crazy tea tree scent, which I don't mind. Because, um... Like I said, I use it every day. I use it to clean with. I use I use all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I just... Guys, order it. I ordered her 6 ounce. Um, it should be coming any day now. I, I even scented it. Even though it has a tiny uh, tea tree scent. I, I scented mine in Grandma's Pie Crust and Cherry Bomb or Cherry. Oh my god, she said it smells really good. And I'm really excited to get it. Um, but... I just want to let you know that that was her old uh, body butter, and I know some people said when they saw it, they thought, well, it's hard, and I can't even, well, it's not hard, it's thick, and like I showed you, you can see it like that, it's almost like putty, right? And you scrape it off with your nail, and then just give it a second, and it melts instantly. Look at that. Look at that. And not only that, but it soaks in. I've still got that um, bath salt stuff. Soaks in, 
completely gone and not oily. That's exactly how it is. So, Dawn, you've got a winner with that. I can't wait to get my six ounce of it. And thank you so much for letting me try these products. Um, guys, for real, just get you some of it. You don't have to get a big six ounce jar of it if you don't want. Um, but you need to try it. It's good for your body. It's good for everything. Especially like if you have kids who may get scratches and cuts and you want something safe to put on them. Get some of her stuff. It is the best for your skin. I mean, look at it. It's already soaked in. That's where I had it. Look at that. So, Dawn, love it. I love the soaps. I love the scrubs. Uh, like I said, I think batch number one and number two. Was this number one or four? Yeah, one and two were the best. A little bit more sugar and then put more moisturizing in it like that was in three. So that is my final review on it. I'm sorry it took me so long, but I am in love, and so will everybody else. So you guys get on thescentedprincess.com and get some of it. All right, bye-bye.